Hey, welcome. Today, join me for a peek at Zechariah chapter 11, verses 1 to 3. Open your doors, O Lebanon, that fire may devour your cedars. Wail, O Cyprus, for the cedar has fallen, because the mighty trees are ruined. Wail, O oaks of Bashan, for the thick forest has come down. There is the sound of wailing shepherds, for their glory is in ruins. There is the sound of roaring lions, for the pride of the Jordan is in ruins. So these three verses are a poem. They're kind of a prophetic poem. The cedar is the mighty tree. It's, it's actually kind of regarded as the, the majestic, the more majestic of all the trees, the king of the trees. Lebanon is known, of course, for these stately cedars. Uh, we had a tree next door to our house when I grew up that was just, uh, didn't never knew what it was, just found out recently as I looked, looked it up. That tree was a western red cedar. They're just perfectly shaped. They're the, the very uh, epitome of a tree. And so you have here the cypresses. The cypresses are moaning. Every, all the trees are sad. And, and these are mighty trees as well. But cedar is kind of the, the king. And this, this poem looks like it's really about the pride, the pride of the rulers all around, of nations that are attacking God's people. The, their pride will be brought down. God will bring down the mighty. And look, if he's going to bring down the cedars, well, the oaks had better tremble because... Uh, the cedar is a much greater tree than an oak, and the oaks are kind of substantial too. So now the imagery in this poem is all linked together. Because the forests have come down, you know, the, the lions have been driven out of their lair, and so now the ro lions are roaming, they're roaming, and, and roaming hungry lions, not really something you want outside your door. So the shepherds that are spoken of here, here in this verse are the leaders of the nations who have opposed God's people. These nations have taken advantage of that and swept in and gathered up spoils and, and, and did mayhem. So God has returned to his people and now the tables are turned. Now the, the leaders who kind of forced their way and got what they wanted, now they're hunted by the roaming lions. So pride and overextension seem to be constants in the human experience. If you got it this much and you got to take this much, why, why shouldn't you just take a little bit more? So that seems to be the way we, we often function. And on the day of judgment, all the goods that we have piled up it's going to be measured against all the good that we could have done with those resources. There's something wrong if we're not willing to share a lot of the material benefits that we have, have been given. It's not like they're all because of our, you know, innate goodness. There is no human innate goodness in fallen man. So any, anything that we are given by heaven, we should be willing to share. Pride often is a problem for leaders who are given, you know, certain authorities and sort of stretch out and go further and further and think of themselves as, as sort of super empowered people. Uh, sometimes, sometimes a leader could get into a problem. It's, it's a serious risk of being in a position of leadership. So humility, the, the Bible plan, humility is a really important piece for leaders. So that the trees of Lebanon representing these, these prideful leaders all being brought down, there's some lessons there for you and I. So a day is coming in which those who live uh, selflessly, they'll be shown to be in the right. There's a day that's coming when those who lived heedlessly and just did their own, uh, for their own self, they'll be shown to have been wrong. And that big day, you know, that's not like thousands of years away, I don't think. This this is coming up pretty quick. The pride, prideful cedars of Lebanon, uh, they're going to come crashing down and God will have his way. The lions are roaming loose, going to take care of the bad leaders the leaders who exalt themselves against the poor and the helpless. So let you and I be advocates and helpers for those uh, within the framework of, of moral rightness. You know, our choices make us. Uh, the choices make us more like Satan, more self-serving, or more like Jesus, more other-serving. And those choices, as is, is one piles on top of another on top of another, those choices determine who and what we are. So God is, is looking for people who will not be like the prideful cedars, not the prideful leaders, but people who will look out for those, the blind and the lame, and, and give them help. Those who are especially vulnerable and are looking to the good, the strength of the good to help them. So let's keep our heads out of the clouds and our hands in the work for all those that are God's children. Mm -hmm.